Hey, it's Jordan on Honda How To, and today we'll be servicing brakes on a 93 Honda Prelude. The rear brakes. That's the car. Alright guys, what you'll need for today is a 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, ratchet, 12 millimeter combination wrench, flathead screwdriver, an extension, and your little rear brake piston compressing tool, or something equivalent. The first thing you're going to want to do is take off this plastic cover right here, because it's hiding one of your caliper bolts, which is sitting right back there behind my finger. In order to do that, you want to take out this 10 millimeter bolt, and there's one down here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but right where my finger is at. Now, if you had a hard time seeing that when I didn't have it off, that's where the first bolt was. And if you can just imagine, flipped around, there it is. So, you'll be going upwards and it'll be sitting right there. Alright, the next thing you'll want to do is take out your two caliper bolts. There's one right here and one right there. And for the top one, I'm going to use a combination wrench because my ratchet, see, as you can see right here, kind of gets hung up on that line back there, which gives me a bad angle on the caliper bolt, which would make it easier to strip, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take my wrench right here and loosen it up. And there's my caliper bolts. Alright, now this is the first time in a really long time that I've actually done this con. Where, as you can see, the piston down in there is slotted. And what that means is when you go back to compress the piston, you just use this little tool, which I'll show you here in a second, um, to catch those slots and turn. So you have to spin the piston when you're pushing it back in. And I had a hard time getting it off, but um, basically, you just get in there with your screwdriver and wedge it off. Alright, well, I'm just going to take that piston and set it right there. And it's pretty safe right there. It's not putting too much stress on either of these rubber hoses. So it's fine. Let's see what the pads look like. Pretty skinny. Yeah, there's not a lot of life left in these. So, put some new pads on there. Now here's that little special tool I was talking about. And they actually have nicer ones where this is built into like a compressing tool. So it turns and compresses at the same time. But since I don't do a whole lot of these, um, I just have this one. And basically what I'll do is take my ratchet and extension and put this on the end. The basic idea is that these little notches right here catch in on there and you just find the right set of notches that's going to fit on your piston and the idea is they catch on there see like that and I'm going to attempt to push and turn with my ratchet at the same time which to me seems like it's going to be a pretty difficult task so let's see how it works out. Well, I didn't lie to you. It's definitely not easy. Oh, oh man. Oh. Well, and now your piston's compressed. Alright, and the next thing you'll want to do when you're going to put your new brake pads in is first of all, take some of your high temp brake grease and just put a little dab 
on these parts where it'll be meeting metal to metal. Just like that, it's fine. And like that. Then it's ready to go on. And once again, once this, what this does is just lowers the noise. If you're going to have any noise from when this slides like that. See, there's no screeching. Alright, and when you go to put that back side brake pad in, just make sure you got the right brake pad with the wear indicator on the right side. In this case, on the driver's side, the wear indicator, as you can see, it's right here on the right side of the brake pad. And on the passenger side, it'll probably be on the left. Not that it makes a difference, but in some cases it may make a difference. So just be in a good habit. Uh, make sure you match them up before you put them back on. Now I've got both my pads in there, hopefully pushed it back far enough, that piston, and thank goodness, I did, so, go ahead and put your caliper bolts back on, and And I'm just using the ratchet up until I gotta tighten it down, tighten it down. Because, as you can see, I'm not getting a good straight on go with the bolt. So, that'd be bad for possibly stripping it. There we go. It's good and tight. Ugh. It's getting tight. Well, that's all there is to it, guys. And lastly, I'm going to put this little cover back on. Tighten these down. And hey, you just did your rear brakes. Give yourself a pat on the back. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching Honda How To. Until next time.